Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve a Windows 10 or Windows 11 issue that you're experiencing where it says that you have an unidentified network in the control panel. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and search for troubleshoot. Best match, you come back with Troubleshoot Settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath Options, you want to select Other Troubleshooters. And then under Other, go down and select Network Adapter, and then the Run button. And give it a moment here. Select All Network Adapters, and then Next. And then hopefully by following along with the prompts on the screen, this should be able to resolve your issue. If you're still having a problem, you can open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, you'll come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that. Best match, you'll come back with command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, flush DNS, should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here and then restart your device. And then hopefully your issue should have been resolved if you are still having a problem, you can just attempt to reset all of your network settings back to default. So if you're using a Wi-Fi based connection, you're going to have to have your Wi-Fi passcode nearby. Because once we're done with this and we reset our computer, you will have to enter that back in in order to get back online. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Select network and internet on the left panel. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down and select Advanced Network Settings. And then underneath More Settings, you want to select Network Reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. So this will remove, then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select Reset Now. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select yes. And now you will need to save and close of any open programs and applications and proceed to restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.